Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your November 2019 general reading. Um, so it's going to be for love, and then career and finance. I've separated the reading and I pulled three cards. So um, let's get into it. Some candy. Whew, guilty pleasure. All right, I'm going to have one, then we're going to get into it. And then I'll have a drink of water, and then we'll get into it. Now we'll get into it. Okay, so for love, and thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, continue to do so continue to like the videos it helps the videos circulate okay so at the bottom of the deck we have the high priestess for you all right so Gemini you're either dealing with a high priestess someone who's very aware someone who gives really good advice really good feminine advice someone who is um, very feminine um, spiritually aware uh, someone who who knows knows things um this is a wise individual also there might be a need for you gemini to get under some some spiritual um mentorship or advice here um that's coming up for you uh there's also something hidden here the, Gemini is repressing something or has repressed something or someone else is or someone's suppressing or there's a you know there is um a pushing down of of maybe someone somebody is making plans or wants to make plans of the next step of what the next step is or there's something being held back um in order for them to move to the next step this could be you Gemini this could be someone else this is like the energy of let's say um, the wife um, making plans to file for a divorce but she's trying to gain all the information all the knowledge she has the secret plan of right um, not saying that it's that for you but that's the analogy is like someone's making secret plan to make move whatever that may be how Gemini comes into the month. So it's okay. Is it some of you are having feminine issues, like reproductive issues, um, feminine issues? Uh, either you can't, or you, or you're trying, or you are. But some of you are trying to become pregnant for. You fill in the blank. All right. How we're coming to the month is the Ace of Cups. Um, some of you are dealing with loss there in in that in that fashion in re, in regards to reproduction either there was or is miscarriage uh, abortion something loss and um, you're really trying to deal with that you thought that you had dealt with it but you only pushed it down some of you are wondering about your wife and or girlfriend is, is she still able to you know have children or to become pregnant or how will the pregnancy go um so you're coming into the month as, as the ace of cups gemini you and then for some of you, you get secret plan of maybe reestablishing, rebuilding yourself there could be a makeover either physically or emotionally um spiritually you're coming into a place of when people are looking at you as um rebuilding remaking remodeling something yourself it could even be a home you could get a new home you could something about home remodeling i don't know um just feel with spirit overflowing blessing abundance okay is very good how to come into the month the advice here is the five of pentacles Ooh. okay so back to loss or lack of confidence and forward movement movement and progression 
feeling like there's no way to go on this situation. Um, some of you could have lost a home or losing a home or losing a home to an offer that you made. Um, some of you are losing, once again, back to reproductive issues. Some of you became pregnant, didn't see it through or couldn't see it through. Nothing to do with you, but more so just reproduction in, it, in itself. Um, says that there is help here. You, you feel destitute, alone, despondent, pushed out, without. You may have put somebody out. Somebody put you out. I don't, hell, this is this is all over the place, Gemini. Um, but this is for love and romance. Um, you may also have secret feelings for someone. You may have a plan of action in regards to trying to come back and restore love. And how you're coming into the month of November is trying to rebuild or regain or restore love. But the the advice here is also, also with the Five of Pentacles is that it's too much change that's happened in this this union and this relationship is too much loss. Um, there, there's lack of confidence in, in forward movement, in progression, either from you or the other person. You could have Capricorn Virgo Taurus in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You're trying to restore. They don't see it happening, you know, or they aren't trying to make it happen. The outcome. The Five of Swords. Yeah, this is um my gems. Gem gems. So the outcome is like failure. You feeling like a failure. You feeling like you you try to fight for this or it was a losing battle altogether there might even have been interference for some of you it's just too you don't get what you want in the outcome this is like forewarned if you're trying to restore something if you're trying to become pregnant didn't I say that Okay, some of you are trying to become pregnant to keep something, to hold on to something, to win something, to have the upper hand in a situation, in a marriage, long-standing relationship, union, whatever, job. I don't know, you're trying to gain sympathy here. This is, this is you trying to hold on because the Five of Swords talks about questioning others' motives also. Or questioning your motives or someone is questioning your motives or vice versa you're doing this with someone else a baby don't keep a man I'll tell you that um, if his mind is made up his mind is made up now if he's a man's man then he will stay obligated to you. Like he's going to fulfill his obligations. He's going to make sure you're good monetarily. And maybe that's all you really want. I don't know. Um, but do you think that the love is going to be restored for you? No. If he doesn't love you, he doesn't love you. The baby doesn't change that. It's a lot of secret crap going on here. Let me pull one card. But I really have to get out of here because I got to do 12 of them. Alright. What's the Five of Swords in the outcome? Lord? The Strength card. Yeah, it's like... Somebody's, somebody's standing true to their convictions. They're being unmovable because they already see where they want to be in regards to a path that they have already chosen for themselves. Also, this is someone... Who, there's an air of mystery about either a person's finances or just a mystery about the other person about sex and intimacy and mergers someone may be even questioning you Gemini or you vice versa 
questioning someone else like is that my baby is is that really you know because the AIDS governs sex too someone may be questioning your motive like why are you trying to hang on to this now I don't know I'm not getting a personal reading that's tough I can see what the shell said kids yeah hate ooh that's like lazy and lack didn't I say lack of confidence Somebody has lack of confidence in this actually moving forward. Gemini, you may be trying to go back to someone and restore the relationship. They don't have a lot of confidence in it moving forward. It all ends in a big blow up and a ruhaha about who did what and who said what. Um, it just doesn't turn out in the fashion that you're looking for. Um. Um, yeah, there's just a lot going on. You could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who you can't read at this moment. They're very emotionally balanced. They may be keeping secrets. We do have Pisces coming up with the High Priestess. I don't know, Gemini. They may feel as if that this, this is a lazy offer. They don't want kids. I don't know. This is, this is um, not good. You know, um, I don't like to end on a bad note like that, though. Um, what do you have to tell Gemini here in this situation? A message, a message strictly for Gemini. To a fire. You're at a crossroads in regards to which way to go. Uh, you need to make a decision here. Are you going to? Continue this partnership or let it die. You're going to move forward. Queen of Fire. Um, what do you want? What, how do you see expansion here? Um, what's your heart's desire? You need to follow that and go after that. Seven of Air. There could be someone holding back from you in a relationship, in a marriage. There could be someone with a secret plan, once again. Um, yeah, you could have, you could be a cheating spouse. Someone else could be the cheating spouse. There's someone who's made promises and has broken every last one of them. There's someone who, by way of the shells, is lazy. There's lack here. The world at the bottom of the deck says that come, you can come out of this if you'd like. Like maybe you've been with a person seven or more years. This has been a cycle here. You you can come out of this. You can stay in it. The two of fire. You have the decision is yours all. All your own. You have come into some realization. Some of you have a complex decision to make in regards to um, maybe someone who it, who you are apart from, who you were in a relationship with where there was loss, or they were deceptive, or they were cheating, or they, they kept options open. Some of you want this person back. Okay, career and finance. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So things are moving forward. For you you get in some mergers you may even be dealing with legal papers contracts loans something of that nature it looks really good there's forward progression okay how you're coming into the the month is the king of cups okay you're very balanced you're very balanced because everything else is in order in regards to or well, things are in order in regards to your business or your career so n nothing is out of order so you have found balance there that's re really good um you're not letting anything tip the scale even in regards to a heavy workload or a lot of messages or a lot of 
there could be a lot of back and forth in a situation where you're trying to come to some reason maybe with loans and paperwork but you're not allowing it to destabilize you to get you unbalanced the advice here is the four wands think about accomplishing this goal think about the celebration excuse me um there is one to be had here with the advice of the cards the four of wands says um the four of wands says there's something that you have established here some level of um stability some foundation here it could even be in regards to homes i'm seeing loans and money and banks and big money and back and forth and trying to get the papers together and paperwork together and there's something that you do in regards to um, can't either caring for other people or caring for some other person's finances, other people's money. Um, whatever you're doing, there's a need or a cause to celebrate. You're having some really foundational energy happen for you there. The outcome this month, please, Eight of Swords. So. You may be trapped in your thoughts in regards to is this really moving forward? Is this really happening? The negativity of, of waiting. Sometimes waiting has will take you know take a turn for the worse. Uh, it looks like you're waiting for communication, waiting for judgment, waiting for the other person. Is is, is there's another moving piece or puzzle to this? But the advice is to to know that you're building something solid, stable. There also may be just a lot of work. Stay strong. Get your rest. Make sure you are resting. Um, know that things are turning around. Let's see what this is about. Closed. Like you want to closed. You want something closed. You want to matter. Of maybe financial matters, papers, loans, you want that closed. Hidden. Maybe there is an element of something being hidden, and maybe that's why you're going back and forth and trying to figure this out. Love. Okay. Some of you just need to sleep on something. Um, you're doing what you love to do. But some of you need to get some rest. Okay. Yeah, Get some rest here. And if, I feel as if things are going to move rather quickly. And you're going to get what you want. You're waiting for it. Yep. Nice. You're waiting for the Ten of Cups. You're waiting for the opportunity to, you know, expand your 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 horizon, your territory. It's coming. The advice of the cards is the Four of Wands. You, there is the need or a cause to celebrate because you established something. You accomplished some project. Something about money and other people's money and moving around other people's money and contracts and litigation and loans and something about homes too and partnership. Very good, very good energy. Um, Jim and I don't uh, be moved by that, uh, by that situation. By by the oh, don't be moved to negativity by the waiting, because you came up as a three at once. You're waiting for the other party. You're waiting for you know something else to be established or reestablished. Um, no, that's not the deck I want. Um, all right, so let's close this out. So we have the angel answers. Let's see what the end with the messages for love. We have to tell Gemini for love. We have to tell Gemini. Okay,
Okay. Is that really where you get what you want here? Hmm. Don't stop. Whatever it is you're doing. Within the next few months, things will manifest for you. There'll be opportunity. Get more information. Something is hidden. Communicate clearly. All right. And ask ask others for help in the near future. All right. Improving health. Something about maybe reproductive issues for some of you. All right. For career and finance, we know that you need to get more rest. Some of you are sleeping but not resting. Um, you're not rejuvenating. It's just like, oh, okay. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Some of you, um, some of you, like somebody's pressuring you to have a, another baby or they have a baby or they want a baby, but there's not enough money or there's lack. Communicate clearly what's going on. Finances are coming up or being highlighted for you. Gemini for career in finance. New exercise program. Yeah. You have to rest and, and, and exercise because that will start the blood to flow. Blood that's been in your feet for weeks now can go to your head. You get a new increased idea and clarity. Get the blood pumping. Okay. Seeking and finding. Yeah, you know, it's like something is hidden here. Something you deal with other people's tangible assets, money, something like that. Decisions, yeah, you're waiting for a decision here. Spiritual growth. Um, very nice. Okay. All right, Gemini, this was a really good reading for some of you. Some of you, I don't know. Um, but anyhow, um, I hope that everything turns out in the manner that you are praying for. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. All links are below uh, to get your own personal reading. Uh, take advantage of the 20-minute phone reading where you can ask me questions. The 72-hour energy reading. That's where I pull cards for love and romance, career and finance. You do not get to ask questions. The $15 two-question via email reading. Um, so you ask two questions, I pull cards, I send you the cards, I explain them via email, okay? Gemini, take care, many blessings to you, bye.